Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Top Series 1 Baseball Jumbo Edition 6 box random team break number 8. One spot gets you uh, two teams. One spot gets you two teams. All card ship, all teams are in. Nice 2023 edition. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's uh, double up, uh, uh, like Sir Mix a lot. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a two. Five times. Three and a two. Five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, we got James down to Jason. Three and a two. Five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. We got Colorado down to Pittsburgh after five. All right, James with the Rockies, Jason with the Brew Crew, Jay with the Reds and Blue Jays, Mark with the Orioles, Levi with the Rays, Shay with the Angels, Stephen with the Royals, Mark with the Cardinals, Levi with the Tigers, Brent with the Marlins, Jay with the uh, the Mets, I almost said Pets, Mets and Padres, Padres play at Petco, Levi, Last Spot Mojo, Twins, Tristan with the Diamondbacks, Brent with the Guardians, Jeremy with the White Sox, Jay with the Nationals and Rangers, James, you got my Dodgers, Tristan with the Red Sox, Levi, with the A's, with your other last spot mojo. Jay with the Giants. Jeremy with the Mariners. Clint with the Phillies. Shea with the Cubs. Steven with the Braves. Clint with the Yankees. Jay with the Astros. And Jason Klontz with the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right. We're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. There was a deal done. So Jason is out of the Pirates spot into the Dodgers spot. Put a T there for trade. And James is now out of the Dodgers spot. He's had them in these breaks before. And into the Pirates spot. So you want to try something different with a different team. That's all good. That's why we have the trade window. Trade window's closed. TWC, trade window closed. Print and rip time. There's the case right there. All right, and it's a full case break. There it is, six boxes right there. <clears throat> yeah, this is the Jumbo 2023 Series 1. Thanks everyone for making this happen. And if you look in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, we do have another six box break loaded up. So this is random team number eight, and so the next one, random team nine. Let's keep chipping away at it. Let's make that happen. That might be something we can do I don't know, next day or two. So what are we looking for? We're looking for one autographs and uh, two relic cards in every jumbo box. And of course, the box topper and the silver packs. Your box topper is Ken Griffey Jr. And then silver packs, I'm gonna set up, you can see it on the top camera, they're not going anywhere. We'll do those after we do each box. All card ship as well. We 
got a little uh, Kings hockey on in the background. I suppose for each commercial break, I could switch from here to to World Baseball Classic. Islanders at Kings. World Baseball Classic is well, it's, on, it's on commercial, but I think it's Great Britain, Mexico. Or is Great Britain the home team? No, I think Great Britain batted first. I think Mexico is the home team. Those Great Britain World Baseball Classic jerseys are truly awful. I mean, you and I, ladies and gentlemen, could have could have designed a better jersey. All right, here we go. Good luck. And I like these City Connect relics. Brandon Crawford. It's a little, uh, the coating was pushed up a little bit right there, unfortunately, but that is for, oh, did I print out this list? That is for the Giants. And that will be for Jay. Jay, I'm gonna send a, uh, I think a pack along with this. Maybe we can see if they can get you a replacement or something else with it for that damaged card. All right, onwards. I'm so used to having that 2022 class in my head. And it's hard to kind of get my brain into 2023 mode here. All card ship, of course. Like this Michael Harris for the Braves. That's for Steven. We got Max Freed Gold. And we got Brandon Marsh, Marsh Future Stars to 299. Oh, and then we'll do left, right, and center randomizers for all those cards, including numbered cards. Jackie, what's going on? I mean, I never know. Does Jaspies have separate shipping crews for Instagram and YouTube? No. The same people that sort and ship your YouTube are the same people that sort and ship your Instagram orders. It's gold, Corey Lee, not numbered. We do have a numbered uh, to 72 home run leaders. Again, this will be part of that left, right, center randomizer. The Bobby Wood was a short print. short prints around but maybe sometimes they don't that's why we that's why all cards should look at that it does you know what and there's actually a gold foil on the tops and a silver foil on the on the regular cards. Good eye, Grizzlebees. That's gonna go to Stephen Carney and the Royals. 
So you're not gonna do the favor of flipping those around in this uh, in this set here. Here's a Miguel Vargas for the Dodgers. That's for Jason. And there's a Frank Thomas relic. It's going to go to Jeremy. Trust me, she'll like this card too. Adley Rushman for Stephen Carney. How long does it usually take to get cards? Um, it depends. Like a break like this, which is pretty long, takes longer to obviously sort and ship. So these take longer than some other breaks. But um, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll put it to the chat. How how tell let uh let Belly Jean know where you live, what state you live in. You know, it's giving me your address, but what state you live in and how long it, a break usually takes to get from from us to you. Here's Wild West it's Padres 2023. It usually takes anywhere from two two to three business days for us to get something sorted, completely sorted, packed up, and then shipped out. And then however long it takes to get to where you are in the country, which is usually a handful of days after that. Cesar Hernandez to 2023 for the Nationals. There's Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. James is in Texas. Takes about a week to a week and a half for you to receive from break to uh, from break to receiving the cards. Indiana about a week and a half. That sounds about right. Yeah, for some people I'll handle I'll hand deliver cards. That's a lot more expensive though. Shipping's usually free. Hand delivery is expensive. Yeah, Instagram shipping's a lot faster just because. There's no sorting involved. We just pack it up and send you your box. Your opened box. Looks like that last couple of Bobby with you, super short prints, 300 bucks on eBay around there? Wow. That's awesome. Congrats, Steven. Yeah, that super short print is pretty cool. I, I, I kind of hesitated on it because it looked a little different. But usually they flip those short prints around. But maybe sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Ah, I see. Well, Belly, guess what? If you go to the break schedule, which I'm sure everyone has bookmarked, there is a shipping tab on there. Not just a schedule, but... You get shipping tab information. You get shipping information there as well, and they can see what date your break was and what the status of that is. And of course, there are some ebbs and flows as well. You know, if if there's a week where we're doing a ton of stuff, and there's a lot going, there's a lot going on here. First of all, we got a Pete Alonzo. On card autograph. Who's got the Mets? That's for Jay Goins in the Mets. There you go, Jay. 34 out of 50. 
There's the Joey Votto to 499. That's for the Reds. It's also for Jay. And they're a Riley Green rookie card for Levi and the Tigers. Kind of wish they would did they did other cards. They should have done like, you know, like I don't know, home run leader should have had should be like a king card and jack or leader in doubles would get a deuce something like that. Sometimes these silver pack cards can be numbered and or and or autographed. And there's an autograph. There's Ethan Small, Brew Crew, Jason Klontz. I think that was tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. We uh, we were not. Jaspies was not, not to my knowledge. Were we were we on with David Adams? There's 73. I wasn't. 73 out of 199. And an Adley Rushman rookie card. All right. Box one in the books. Box two. Here's a Justin Verlander box topper. Your silver patch I'm going to stack up there. Oh, first time watcher, thanks to uh, Levi. Nice, thanks Levi for spreading the gospel of Jaspi. Well, we got a long way to go, so kick back and relax. Does Julio have autos in this? I don't know off the top of my head. Maybe? He's on the box. I hope so. Mexico up one nothing on Great Britain. Quite possibly uh, the worst jersey in the World Baseball Classic, Great Britain, playing against probably the best, maybe one of the best jerseys in the World Baseball Classic, Mexico. Julie is your personal sales manager for car. There you go. That's nice. It's good to add that. Miguel Vargas. That's for the Angels, twenty twenty three. Celebrating looks like some sort of walk off. These are these are manufactured relics, but they still look really cool. I think 
Jeremy Smith with the White Sox. Mike saying, looking at the checklist, and you see at least nine different Julio Rodriguez autographs in this. All right. One would be nice. At least. Good. Ryan Presley to four ninety nine. Jay with the Astros. Patrick Wisdom autograph. That's going to go to Shea and the Cubs. A smart hit here. Nolan Gorman, rookie. That's going to be for Mark and the Cardinals. I feel like as soon as I turn these cards upside down, they're going to give me another set upside down. There's a giant celebration card here. Gold. A red Michael Massey to 199 for the Royals. That'll be for Steven. Michael Harris for Steven. And a Yachty. Kind of cool seeing him in the uh, managing, in the dugout. World Baseball Classic. That's going to go to Car uh, the Cardinals. Mark with the Cardinals. That might be our first Gunnar Henderson. It may have been more. All card shivs, so if you see me slide by a card. And if you see me slide by another super short print, definitely let me know. But like some of those base rookie cards, everything everything will ship. Yeah, Giants has flipped Kadarius Tony for Darren Waller. Charles is saying. Yeah, NFL has been dominating the headlines. A lot of NFL action here. Yeah, I guess that's essentially what they did. Darren Waller would be a great weapon for Daniel Jones if Darren Waller stays healthy. Maybe this is the year he does it. Twenty twenty three Julio. 
poor Gavin Lux. Should have been a could have been a big season for him, but went down with the knee. The old ACL. And then another L, I think he lost as well. So it looks like my Raiders will be drafting a tight end at some point. Allegedly, this is supposed to be a, uh, a pretty deep tight end class. And so there can, there can probably be quality tight ends that could get got at many points of the draft. There's Kevin Crimea to 2023. Is that a uh, Is that uh, is Aaron Rodgers that deal done? I'm not sure if Nolan Smith is going to be. I'm not familiar with Nolan Smith. And Bryce Harper's a 299 greatest hits. That's pretty cool. Broncos and Samaj P. Ryan agree to a two-year deal. Panthers and Andy Dalton looks like agreeing to a two-year deal. Chiefs adding a D lineman, Omenahu. Bradbury's new Eagles deal for three years. I thought the Raiders might have a shot at him, but Falcons retain offensive tackle McGarry on a three-year deal. Oh, yeah, Rex mentioned this earlier. David Montgomery to the Lions on a three-year deal. And... Uh, and yeah, Aaron Rodgers is pretty much getting his besties onto the team. Already playing GM. Apparently he has a wish list of uh, players that he wants to be there. That better work, Aaron. He wants Randall Cobb, Alan Lazard, Mercedes Lewis, and Odell Beckham Jr. Alan Lazard's on the Jets now with a, on a four-year deal. I mean, they better be, I'm assuming that the deal is pretty much done. I can't imagine him just being like, eh, just kidding, I'm going to retire after, after the Jets make all these deals. Well, yeah, I saw, I saw that too. I saw, like, he wanted weapons in Green Bay. Here's Miguel Cabrera. But then he's getting some of the same weapons? Like Alan Lazard and Randall Cobb? Yeah, and, and I thought I already thought that the I thought the Jets already had a decent receiving core. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation. I'm a Raiders guy, Dooley, and I, a lot of speculation that now the Raiders might take a look at someone like Hen and Hooker in the second or third round. Just so he can marinate behind Jimmy G for a season or two, kind of learn the the supposedly complex McDaniel system and then be ready to and then Jimmy G will be the a bridge to a bridge to a hooker. G Lo thinks some of that news is Bologna, Bologna. A media probably added OBJ <laughs> on that list. Ain't nobody want him.
Yeah, he's trading one green color for another, Rex. Just like, uh, just like the quarterback he replaced, Brett Favre. And we got a Jose Ramirez, blue, blue border, not numbered, but a parallel. Imagine that a Jimmy G bridge would be made of toothpicks. Yeah. That's the big that's the big concern is health. Oh man. Levi is calling for calling for come on last spot mojo already. We are way too early for that, Levi. We've got another one, two, three, four boxes to go. We're not even halfway through the break. Gotta play to the whistle, just like coach would say. Play to the whistle. These Riley Greens add up though, that's for sure. Get that, get that right side up. Um, Gilo was asking earlier about how I felt about the Darren Waller deal. Yeah, I mean, it seemed... It's a little bittersweet. Darren Waller is such a great story. Such a good dude. Came back from a lot of adversity. So it was really nice to see him succeed on the Raiders. But the truth of the matter is the last, what, two, two and a half seasons... He hasn't really played all that much. You know, so it's been a little a little disappointing. And it's becoming clear that with the Josh McDaniels, Dave Ziegler regime, you know, wants to wash its hands of some of the key players of the previous regime and make their own deals. It's more Gunnar Henderson for Mark. So we'll see. This is going to be a huge, a huge draft for them. It's going to be a huge off season for them. Could be make or break. There's Hunter Green. He might have a really nice season this year. To four ninety nine. And we got a nice James Outman autograph. That's going to be for Jason and the Dodgers drawing first blood in the trade. He's got a good shot at, uh, he's got a good shot at, I don't know, ma making the roster, making the opening day roster. And if not that, he might be your starting center fielder by the end of the, by the end of the season for the Dodgers or a starter on somewhere on the diamond. James saying that's the redemption you're waiting for. So I wonder if Outman like signed like half the cards and didn't sign the other half. And now he's just like, eh. Now half the people have to wait for him now. There's Vaughn Grissom to 223. Another Adley Rushman rookie card. For the Orioles, that's for Mark, and the Grissom goes to Steven in the Braves. I guess James Altman was busy trying to busy trying to make the opening day roster. Didn't have ran out of time to sign cards. Adam Wainwright, 2023, for Mark and the Cardinals. Another Riley Green for Levi and the Tigers.
We've got a Ryan McMahon. 801 out of 223. And Major League Material, Xander Bogarts, piece of his lumber. That'll be for Tristan and the Red Sox. Miguel Vargas for the Dodgers, for Jason. And we got a Jordan Alvarez City Connect relic for Houston. It's going to go to Jay. It's a cool looking Julio Rodriguez card. It'll be for Seattle, Jeremy. Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Mark. Carlos Rodon for the Giants to 2023. All right, another box down. We're halfway through this case. Be done with this. With this break. If I, if I break the camera, then I'm done for the night. We must have a backup. Some oh, silver packs. It's Mojo Refractor. Nolan Gorman from the Silver Packs. Silver Packs. Silver Packs. All right, another one. Got about another ooh, 40 minutes to go in this one. We got an Ichiro Mariners Edition box topper. I do like the, uh, just going back to a little NFL, I know it's a baseball break, but on these longer breaks we end up floating around different sports topics, but I don't mind the Jacoby Myers deal the Raiders made. So, losing, uh, losing Darren Waller, losing Derek Carr, adding Jimmy Garoppolo, adding Jacoby Myers. Who was involved in that ill-fated play at the end of the Patriots Raiders game where he 
threw a pass backwards to uh, <laughs> to uh, Chandler Jones for the Raiders, basically. Um, but Jacoby Myers actually puts up pretty good numbers. So that's a pretty good uh, receiving core, I want to say. Still got Devontae Adams. You know, and both he and Jacoby Myers, they've got the skills to stretch the field a little bit. And, uh, and you know, Hunter Renfro is still around. Yeah, good receiver, bad system, says James. Yeah, I, th I, th I think I think with uh, it's Jose Altuve, and I'm sure the Raiders will end up drafting a a pass catching tight end or something like that. And Winksop's pretty good, Gilo. Wingstop is pretty good. I have not had any of those. Has anyone had the Wingstop chicken sandwich? I've not had the chicken sandwich. And there's a Dean Kramer to 72, black border. Well, there, there are, some, are some jokes. Nice Nolan Gorman relic. There are some jokes that it's like, it's Las Vegas Patriots or something like that. Yeah, you know, I, I did not realize, Chilo, that Jacoby Myers was a, uh, was like a, a converted quarterback. And Nolan Gorman going to the Cardinals. I think he played quarterback in college? And then they converted him to a wide receiver or something like that? Chicken sandwich is good. You always, that's, that's my go-to, James. The Louisiana dry rub. I'm not into things being too saucy, <laughs> if you will. No, I'm, I, food that food wise, I'm not into things that are saucy. Um, so I like the I like the dry rubs, and the Louisiana dry rub has the perfect amount of flavor and spice. It's pretty good. And you know, I'm usually like I I usually don't do like ranch, but I will if I get a wing stop. Yeah, Gilo, his his instincts. His quarterback instinct kicked in, Gilo, and he passed to the open receiver. Yeah, Myers played at NC State from 2015 to 2018. He was initially recruited as a quarterback, and then he transitioned to receiver following his freshman year in which he redshirted and was a key member of the scout team. So there you go. I mean, he's probably... Um, does everyone who know, uh, for your football team, and I don't think I know this, for your football team, do you know who the emergency quarterback is? And here's a Marcus Wilson for the Mariners, rookie auto, for Jeremy Smith in Seattle. This is like, if your QB1 goes down, if you're the QB2 that dressed, if that QB goes down, there's usually a position player that's earmarked for emergency QB. For Gilo's Chiefs, you think Jarek McKinnon's the, uh, the emergency? That sounds about right. Well, I think we all learned watching the playoffs last year that, that Christian McCaffrey, I think, would have been the emergency quarterback. Um, for the Niners, but I don't think the broadcast seems to suggest. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey, he was right, but the broadcast seems to suggest that he that they didn't, you know, he he was there halfway through the season, so they don't they didn't really have any plays that he could run. I don't know who the Raiders. I don't know who the Raiders emergency is. Or maybe it was passing plays. They didn't have passing plays ready to go or something like that. 
Jay and I sing when he played Pat McAfee was the emergency QB. I didn't I didn't realize that. Right, yeah. Hmm, this is an old list from 2020. But it still might be interesting to see some of these players. Just looking at the list of emergency quarterbacks, I have a list from 2020. Here's Nolan Jones to 2023 for the Guardians. That'll be for Brent. And here is a 1925 Yuli Guriel game use memorabilia, World Series memorabilia. Astros, that'll be for J. Right, Mike, why, why can't, before every game, you know, sort of like a flight attendant directing you to your emergency exits. There should be someone that tells you who your emergency quarterback is. It's Michael Massey, 26 out of 50. In case of emergency, your, your, your emergency quarterback is here or maybe there. Note that your emergency quarterback might be just right behind you. Be sure to look behind you. Royals, that'll be for Stephen Carney. Great Britain keeping this uh, World Baseball Classic game pretty close. They're only down a run, top of the fifth. This could be the makings of an upset. What are my Kings doing? LA Kings hosting the Islanders? Islanders up by one, start of the second period. There's a Marcus Wilson to 223. Here's a piece of, I don't know, when they were cutting it, a little. A little piece kind of fell into the pack. Who's playing that second play-in game? I need like three TVs in here, Gilo. I only have one. Or two more screens outside in the retail area of the store, but not in my studio. All right, and that Adley Rushman going to Mark and the Orioles. Yeah, sort of a sports spring sports equinox here. And we got an orange Kyle Stowers, a little color match. Five out of 25 for the Orioles. Mark with the O's. And a Riley Green for Levi and the Tigers. 
All right, fingers crossed, everybody. We're getting close to the end here. Two more boxes to go. I'm seeing some orders coming in, but they... I don't see anything sold out, so they may be for they may be pre-orders for uh, for tomorrow's new releases. All right, second to last box, the penultimate box, as they say. Yeah, and a king's goal. Just right when I changed the channel, they just needed me to do that. They were like, "Hey, let's wait till Joe Jaspi's tuned in." Here's Cal Ripken Jr. Here's Blake Lazat with the gold tie. It tie the is Landers. All right, so as I'm ripping these, let me tell you your 2020. So it's a bit of an older article, but this still should be an interesting read or an interesting look. I'm not going to read it, but old ESPN article from 2020. Your emergency quarterbacks. Jake Fromm, rookie Jake Fromm is your emergency quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. For the Dolphins, apparently rookie wide receivers Malcolm Perry and Lynn Bowden Jr. I don't know if Bowden Jr. is on that team anymore. I don't know why those guys are on that team anymore. Oh, that's right. Julian Edelman is apparently an emergency quarterback. I remember that. And then they, they also list Jacoby Myers as well. Wide receiver Jeff Smith was the old uh, Jets emergency quarterback. For the Ravens, I don't know if this this player is still on there, but Sam Cook. No, not that Sam Cook, but K-O-C-H Cook. Uh, is the emergency quarterback for the Ravens. He's a master of fake punts and field goals. Hold, serves as J, uh, Justin Tucker's holder. In his 15-year career, Cook is 7 for 7 for 82 yards and a passer rating of 115.5. He's such a good passer, he regularly throws to wide receivers during pregame warmups. His ability to throw the ball is quite extraordinary, former Ravens special team coordinators Jerry Roseberg said of Cook three years ago. Hopefully he'll never have to be an emergency quarterback, but I think he showed everyone how well he can throw the ball. Yeah, the punter. I didn't realize that. I guess Jarvis Landry for the Browns could be your emergency quarterback. Wide receiver Alex Erickson could be the uh, the uh, emergency QB for the Bengals. I don't know if he's still around. Aha! Uh -huh. I know it's a little bit of the gold. Another super short print, George Kirby. For Jeremy Smith and the Mariners. Nice. I knew that looked a little uh, looked a little different there. Pato sixty two peach. What's going on in the Twitch stream? How are you? I guess tight end Zach Gentry was the emergency quarterback for the Steelers a couple years ago. Ryan Switzer could be as well. Randall Cobb, when he was with the Texans, could have been the emergency QB. Yeah, Coulter's Pat McAfee. LaVisca Chenault, emergency quarterback for the Jaguars, apparently, a couple years ago. And City Connect. Get well soon, Walker Bueller. Yeah, another little issue right there. I think there's like a machine that pushes the cards in. If it, I guess, catches on the wrong part, it'll it'll kind of peel that coating off the top of it. But Jason, I'll send you a little pack with the you know UP, 
maybe I don't I don't know if Tops will do something for you for a card like that, but you know, maybe. You think emergency kickers are more fun because it's just some random guy. Yeah, who are the emergency kickers? I think there was... I'm blanking on his name, but it's a name that everyone knows, I think. Who was the... Who was the backup QB for Brady in the Patriots? Um, who wanted to... Uh, who could punt decently and always wanted to punt in like a real game situation. Marcus Wilson to 2023. Gunnar Henderson. No, not Tebow. Older than that. Wasn't it? Yeah, was it Doug Flutie? Was he, was he ever a backup? Maybe... Maybe, in, maybe I'm not thinking Patriots. Whatever teams, teams that Doug Flutie was on. Yeah, Doug Flutie apparently had a decent a decent leg. It was Marcus Wilson to 2023. Another Gunnar Henderson for Mark. Oh, he ended up he ended up kicking something, right? Yeah. He had some sort of drop. Yeah, he had like a drop kick. And the autograph is is Will Benson for the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. And that's going to go to Brent and the Guardians. Oh, nice. So they're going to do something for you, Colin? That's awesome to hear. Cesar Hernandez, 17 out of 2023. Yeah, I hope they will too, or like repair it. Interesting. They would replace the same card or card of equal or greater value. All right. Well, keep me posted. Let me know how that goes. We've got Shea Langliers to 2023. A Riley Green insert. For Levi, the Shea goes to the A's. That's for Levi as well. And the Miguel Vargas rookie card goes to Jason. Tyler McGill to 2023. And we got Ronald Acuna Jr., Major League Material Relic. Stephen Carney and the Braves. Tyler McGill go to Jay Goins and the Mets. Gilo remembers one game with Doug Fleet and Vinny Tessaverde play each other as backups in their combined age. It was the oldest NFL in history, too, the two oldest quarterbacks in the NFL to play against each other.
There is the goal. Nice. Five on three power play. You know they got to score. All right, another Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. That's for Mark. What were their ages, Gilo? Do you remember? Like 37 and 38 or something like that? Is that the old? Would that be... They're both in their 40s or close to it. Yeah, that makes sense. Brady never played a quarterback in his like late 30s or something like that to, to test that to test that record. And we got a red Riley Green, nice. 32 out of 199. Nice seeing some numbers here. Is that another Adley Rushman for the Orioles. Oh, get in there. Nice. Oh, LA Kings up two, three to one. They're up two goals. And we got a Buster Posey, purple, 60 out of 75. For my rivals, the Giants, Jay with the Giants. All right, we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Final box. Fingers crossed. Good luck. Let's see what we get out of here. There's Mookie Betts. That's the box topper for the Dodgers. That'll be for Jason. Silver packs we'll do at the end. We'll also do a recap. We'll randomize the left, right, center card. Then we can put this break to bed. All right, Kings, so far so good. Mexico still holding on to a slim one nothing uh, lead here. Oh, Peach, apologies. Sorry, I missed your conversation in the chat. He's in Chile. Hola. I am aware of the country in Latin America. I just saw the a replay of a Great Britain home run celebration. They got like, they got like a crown, an actual crown, like a kind of a royal looking cloak. Someone has a sword that, that knights the player, Great Britain. That's, the, that's your celebration, makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
I like that, James. They do like a tea celebration. Do one of these. And then like elbow, elbow bash, tea and elbow bash. That's what I would do, a little arm bash. Mike Trout, green to 49. That'll be for the Angels, Shea and the Angels. City Connect, Brendan Rogers. Looks like all these cards have that little issue down there. Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals to Miguel Vargas, and we've got a 2023 Matt Schramm for Boston, Tristan, and I grabbed the autograph early, it is, I think it's Luis Robert, nice, for the White Sox, that's going to be for Jeremy Smith and the Chicago White Sox, the last auto of the break, should be a couple relics I think, let's keep an eye out for those. Man, look at this. Wow. These are awesome. Heavy lumber. Giancarlo Stanton. The top of the card is, is like wood. The card is wood. How do they how do they do this? Yeah, I think like the, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think the, th the top layer is actual wood. And then back, I don't think it is wood, but wow. I haven't seen one of these. I've heard about these, but I haven't seen one of these. Heavy lumber, Clint with the Yankees. Nice. I think that's a, a very rare hit, a rare card. All right, final stack. Good luck, everybody. I know this is a long break, but thanks for sticking with me. We'll do a randomizer for the left, right, center cards. There's Teoscar Hernandez to 2023. Then we'll do a quick little recap of all the key cards and hits that were pulled. Jay has Toronto. And there's a Ryan Mountcastle relic for Mark and the Orioles. 
Well, that was way outside. Did Great Britain pay off these uh pay off these umps? Got an Ethan Small, 48 out of 72. Ethan Small is actually 6'4", 215. Not that small. Yeah, speaking of paying off, do you think Barcelona face tough consequences for pay? I mean, they, sh they should, they better. You're talking integrity of the game there. Quite literally. I mean, it's one thing to goof around with like financial fair play rules and I don't know. There's all sorts of shady money stuff that you can never really keep track of, you know. Man City's under investigation for that. But yeah, I mean, if... I don't know what what at what stage of the investigation they're in, but if whatever investigation that happens confirms all of that, yeah, you can't let that stand. Another, this is our third super short print, Tristan McKenzie. You got it, obviously a different picture. That's the first way to spot it. Then you got the gold foil right there. You know, like, I think in the last 15 years or so, there has been, you know, precedent for a team to, like, get punished with, like, losing points or, or even being relegated down to a lower division. I think Juventus got it, got that happened to Juventus, didn't it? Maybe even more recently. I mean, they, they got back up to the top flight pretty quickly, but... You know, the, I think immediately after that, but I think they got knocked back a division. Some massive fines, I'm sure. Yeah, that does tarnish, unfortunately, the reputation of, of Lionel Messi. But I, I suppose it depends on what his, how deep of an involvement his relationship But Did he know? Did he not know? You know? Do you see the? Uh, do you see like the news? Like uh, Lionel Messi's family apparently like run a a popular grocery store in his hometown in Argentina, and apparently some like gangsters had shot it up and left a menacing message for Messi, saying that he'll kill that we're here to get you or something like that. It was late two thousand, right before they went on a run. Point shaving scan, that's what it was. But I mean, yeah, I, I guess I didn't really realize that two years without getting a red card or conceding a penalty. There's Joey Manessis. I don't know how, to, he's been having a great, uh, a great world baseball classic for Mexico. I think he had a pretty decent. He only he only was up for about fifty six games, but he had three twenty four, thirteen home runs and thirty four RBIs and a couple hundred at bats. That's pretty good. I mean, that probably translates to like what thirty plus home runs if he gets like five fifty five hundred fifty at bats or something like that. That's for Jay and the Nationals. There you go, boys and girls. That's your break. We made it.
Let's do this uh, left center right randomizer. Let's go back to ram.org. There it is. New dice. Position on top. Will uh, will that's where the card will go. Left center or right, whatever side that is. Uh, after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Left side will get, so all the left side teams will get these cards, including some of the numbered ones. All right, here's the recap for six box, 2023, top series one, jumbo edition baseball, but I really jumbled that up. Take two. All right, here's the recap. For 2023, Tops Series 1 Baseball, six box jumbo, random team break number eight, jazbeescasebreaks.com, super short print, some relics, some autographs, some nice stuff here, another super short print. James Outman autograph. An autograph from the Silver Pack, Pete Alonzo. Another super short print, Bobby Wood Jr. and the heavy lumber Giancarlo Stanton. Real nice. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.